busy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, February 14th, and I'm about to head to clinic. It is Valentine's Day, so I am wearing a cute little pink outfit, which I will show you in a minute. The reason I didn't start this vlog yesterday is because it was a crazy day. My clinical instructor ended up leaving sick after our first patient, so I was following around different PTs all day, which honestly was so cool, and I learned so much, and I had such a fun day. And that's also what I'm doing today, so that's pretty cool. So that is that starting the vlog today. Another exciting thing that's happening this week, I am going to a different clinic on Thursday as well to shadow lymphedema, so that will be really fun. I'm going to be running a little bit late if I keep talking, so I'm going to go at 7.07. .07. I need to leave at 7.20, and I still need to pack my lunch, so let's go. Let's have a great day. I'm in from 8 to 4, which is different than my typical Tuesday hours where I go 10.30 to 7, but it's because I'm with the other PTs, like I was saying. One of the gifts my boyfriend got me was this Squishmallow. I absolutely love Squishmallows. I think they're so cute. And then my mom just came in my room and gave me this cute little basket with Peeps and Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish, a card, and this very cute little heart cookie. So, very cute. Here is my outfit. I have this cute white sweater from Francesca's, pink leggings from TJ Maxx that are super old, and my pink clothes, and I just am so festive. And if you know me, pink is my absolute favorite color, so this is like the perfect holiday for me, one of my favorite holidays. I honestly had a different outfit on this morning, and then my boyfriend texted me Happy Valentine's Day, which like didn't even register in my brain because we celebrated Valentine's Day over the weekend because if you didn't know, he is still living in Georgia, and I am in Pennsylvania, so he flew in and we celebrated early, so... Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Hello, guys. I'm back from clinic. It is currently about 5.35. I stopped at Sweet Green on my way home and got a salad because I was so hungry, and my parents are going out to dinner tonight, so I just stopped and picked that up, and I would have shown it, but I was so hungry, I ate it before I had the thought to even film it. So now I'm home, and I'm about to change and I have a good amount of work to do tonight. This is week 6 of 12 of my clinical rotation so it's the midterm and if you are in PT school doing clinicals you know that you have to do the clinical performance instrument. It is through the APTA, the American Physical Therapy Association and basically it's just like this really long form with like all these categories and you self-reflect, rate yourself on a certain scale and then your instructor does the same thing. Your instructor does the same thing and then you like cross-reference and you have to be a certain score to pass the clinical pretty much. So it takes a really long time. It's due Friday so I'm going to try to get at least half of it done tonight. We'll see how it goes. And I do have to do some boards prep tonight. I am doing the NPTE Final Frontier 11 week boot camp. The independent study bundle. I will have it linked down below if you're interested in checking it out. But this is week number two and basically what it is is they assign you either like readings or lectures for every single day leading up to the exam. So tonight I only have one reading to do. Tomorrow I'll have a lecture but tonight is just a reading. So I'm going to read it, make sure I understand it good, maybe review a few other prior readings notes from that. I'm really tired. My my energy has been quite low lately. I don't know what it is. I just I think I think I'm very physical therapy out because I'm at the clinic all day. I'm coming home. I'm trying to study for boards and my past two clinical rotations, I wasn't really doing much like studying when I got home from clinic aside from prepping or reviewing anything from that day or for the next day. But this it's like every single night I have to like intensely focus on studying or doing other school assignments, what have you. So I am feeling a little bit burnt out. So I need to remind myself to take it nice and slow because I still have like over two months till my exam. It's not till the end of April. So I need to pace myself so I don't burn out. So I don't burn out completely because I feel myself fading. So I'm gonna try to take it easy tonight and just do my reading and my CPI. So I'm currently on the Final Frontier website and I thought it would be cool to show you guys kind of the setup. So here on the left hand side we have the daily readings tab and right where my cursor is hovering currently you can see there's a timetable for if you're taking it in January which just passed or in April and then it has the days of readings on the side there. If you click on the timetable it'll open to 
this I printed it out just because it's easier and some days like I might be unable to do the reading on the exact day so then I can like edit and write next to it to keep track but that is every single day up until the exam date what to read and then there is a second one for the lecture content as well and which order to watch those in so today is day number nine of the program so I'm gonna go here as you can see I checked off the other readings so I'll go to day nine which is actually already open and they have their reading right here you click on it it will open up in a separate tab there we go come on and then once it's open I always airdrop it to my iPad so I can like highlight it and stuff but this one is all about different common hand and finger deformities so this one is about 18 pages. This is one of the longer readings. Some of them are only like three or four pages, but that is all for today. So on the side here, you have like the reading setup. If you go to the lectures here, it opens like video recordings of all the lectures. You can watch them on your own time or you can follow their schedule. They post the slides along with the lectures. Overall, it's just like so great and I feel so much better like having this sort of setup. I just plugged in my string lights, my little hat over there, and I'm about to lay in bed and watch The Bachelor as I work on my midterm clinical performance instrument assignment. So I'll try to get as much done as I can before this episode's over. Good morning, it is Wednesday, it is 6 a.m. and I am so tired. I went to bed at like 9.30 last night, not even kidding, and I still just like, woke up in the middle of the dream middle of a dream and feel really drained so I made some coffee I'm gonna take it with me because I don't think we have a patient scheduled at the 7 a.m. time slot so I'm gonna sip my coffee and prep for the day so that will be nice I am in until 3 30 we don't have any eval so it'll just be returning patients so that'll be nice and then we'll be back here for tonight so you guys have a great day i'm wearing this shirt from market and spruce which is a brand that they have on stitch fix and i want to show you guys my pants because they are new i've been wanting for a while the athleta um brooklyn pants and they were on sale this weekend they were only 60 dollars instead of 100 basically they are just like these like jogger sort of pants and they have this like stripe on the side and they are so comfy like i literally feel like i'm wearing sweatpants right now but they look kind of professional, I guess, so I'm going to wear my white on clouds with it, and that is my outfit for today. Also, peep my little yoga avocado socks. I think they're so cute. I'm going to head to clinic, and I will talk to you when I'm back. Hello guys, I am back from clinic. I got Starbucks on my way home and I was really craving a frappuccino, which I haven't had in like years. I feel like everyone goes through that phase in their life where they're like obsessed with like blended coffee drinks and then they like transition out of it. But every now and then I just get like a very strong craving for one. So I figured I would get one because I deserve it. I was having trouble focusing last night, so I need to do a little bit extra work tonight. Luckily today at clinic, I was able to finish up my clinical performance instrument because we had a free hour where a patient canceled so me and my instructor both just sat there like typing away working on it and with the little part that I got done last night I was able to knock it out in that time so that is good because if not I would have had to also do that tonight so I have my laptop here I'm about to open it up and log into my final frontier account tonight is one of the days I do need to watch a lecture oh my gosh the sun is like all of a sudden getting really bright but yeah like I was saying today is one of the days I do have to watch a le lecture for Final Frontier and it is one of the Muscu Scout lectures so that'll be two hours and I'm gonna knock that out quickly Good morning, it is Thursday, it is 
720 and it is amazing how much more rested I feel after just an hour of sleep. I was able to sleep till 6.30 instead of 5.30. Since I am going to a different clinic today, like I mentioned, I don't have to be there until 9. And I am going to shadow a lymphedema therapist. And if you don't know what that is, basically it is just like swelling related to typically cancer, sometimes obesity or malnutrition, but typically it is from breast cancer, at least at this clinic that I'm going to. They see a lot of patients post mastectomy that have like a lymph node removed or something and then they have swelling down the arm so the physical therapists do a lot of like massage and wrapping of the arm so I'm gonna be seeing that today so I am excited because it's something I've never seen before and this is one of the reasons I love physical therapy so much because there's just so many different fields that you would never even think of that exist and like different directions you can go so I will let you guys know how I like it and my thoughts after the fact. A lot of pelvic floor therapists also do lymphedema and kind of treat both. So that is the reason I asked to shadow because I want to see if I like it or not. So we're going to go and I hope you guys have a good day. And I'm just wearing this long sleeve blouse that I got last year at Orange Rack with some plain black dress pants today. Hello guys, it is Thursday night. It's about 8 p.m. I'm hanging out in my room with Teddy. And I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about how my day went at the lymphedema clinic. Like I said, I had never seen lymphedema before. In school, we honestly didn't learn too much about it either. We obviously had a lecture over the lymphatic system and everything, but we didn't have an associated lab that actually is coming up at the end of this semester, like literally right before graduation, we will have a lymph lab, but up until this point, we haven't. So everything I learned was like completely new and I just think that's such like a cool feeling. You are continuously learning as a physical therapist or really as anyone in healthcare and you can just never know enough or everything. So it is both frustrating and both really cool because there's always learning opportunities. Most of the patients I saw today, I think I saw seven, six or seven maybe, a majority of them were like post mastectomy from breast cancer and had swelling of like the trunk and the arms. If you don't know what lymphedema is, Basically, it is swelling related to dysfunction of the lymph nodes, and it can be primary lymphedema, which means you are just born with the dysfunction and nothing really caused it, or it can be secondary lymphedema due to commonly cancer treatments with radiation impacting the lymph nodes or actually having to physically dissect a lymph node. That was a lot of the patients we saw today. Cancer had spread, lymph nodes had to be taken out, and lymph nodes filter a bunch of waste products in our blood proteins <clears throat> proteins and fluids and all that stuff so when they're not working correctly it just can cause a little traffic jam and the arms or the legs or the trunk or the groin wherever is kind of dysfunctioning there will be a back backup of fluid which leads to swelling and that can be treated by lymphedema therapists via massage techniques manual lymphatic drainage it's called it's the official term I learned today it's like a very light massage that just like kind of stretches the top skin layer and you work um, distally to proximally to move up towards the lymph nodes and after that you do some sort of compression garment depending where the patient is kind of in their lymphedema journey. Um, some of the patients wear garments like 24 hours every single day, um, morning, night, different garments so it was really cool and interesting and I enjoyed it a lot. Just reading my Final Frontier signed reading of the day. It's on the cranial nerves and all about their functions and if they're sensory motor or both and how to test for them. So I read it. I'm going to kind of study it now, make sure I know all that information and call it a night. Hi Teddy. I love you. Even though you're trying to distract from my vlog, I still appreciate you very much. Morning, it is very early. It is 6.10. About to head to clinic. You guys saw me pack my lunch, make coffee, I'm drinking my little Chobani. Honestly, I have no clue what today entails, like patient-wise, because I wasn't at my clinic yesterday. 
Oh my gosh, my camera's falling. Okay, had to start holding my camera because my tripod has been acting up. But since I wasn't at my clinic yesterday, I have no clue what patients are in today. So I'm trying to get to clinic like 10 minutes earlier than usual so I can like look through the patient list and everything and be nice and prepared for today. I know we do have an hour and a half lunch break. It's usually 30 minutes, sadly, but today it's an hour and a half because we were given time to go through the CPI, which I did earlier this week, but today I have to like talk it out with my instructor and see like things I can work on for the rest of the clinical. So that will be nice, a little bit of a longer lunch break. And then it's officially the weekend, even though I'm not really doing anything fun. I'm literally taking a five hour NPTE practice exam and also preparing and packing because I am going to CSM combined sections meeting in San Diego next week so that will be absolutely amazing i'm so excited for that comment down below if you're going Peloton ride so excuse my very sweaty appearance also my fake tans coming off so I'm gonna try to cover that up but clinic today was good I actually did end up doing an eval not with my CI with another PT actually I just she asked if I wanted to do it because we didn't have a patient that hour and I figured it would be good practice and I didn't really prepare for it so I was able to do it confidently like kind of on the fly so that really makes me feel like competent and like I know what I'm doing if I can just kind of do it in the moment without too much like preparing before the patient gets there if that makes sense so that was good i also did find out today my in-service presentation that's next month was supposed to be just for the pelvic pts and i'm talking about exercise consider con exercise considerations during the menstrual cycle and some of the other pts in the office found out that's what i was talking about so now everyone's coming to see it and they're kind of blocking the schedule so we can have 30 plus people watching so that's exciting and nerve-wracking, so I'll keep you guys updated as I'm like working on that PowerPoint in future weeks. I need to edit this vlog because it's going up tomorrow morning, and I'm about to go out to dinner, and I do have some score to do tonight, so I'm going to finish this up really quickly so it has time to upload. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you all so much, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Like fighting so